Hey Aquarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for May 15th to the 16th of 2022. Alright, let's jump into it with an Oracle card message for Aquarius. What's going on with my Aquarians in the next 48 hours, Spirit? What does Aquarius need to know for May 15th to the 16th of 2022 for Aquarius? Alright, let's see. We have Toad, Fortune. We have Swan, Fidelity. We have Boar, Ferocity. And Seal, Vulnerability. All right. I don't know why, like, <laughs> when I was shuffling, I got the words. I saw, like, when I was shuffling, I literally saw a deck of cards, like, playing cards. Like, you're at a casino. I saw, like, the, the Six of Spades. I think it, either the six, seven, or eight of spades in my hand when I was shuffling. And I saw, I heard black tree. I don't know what that means. These could be signs or symbols or synchronicities to somebody here. So I'm just going to say them real quick. Um, But yeah, I got black, black tree or black hand, black hound, something like that. But anyway, with fortune, oh, this is so cute. I can already tell. With fortune, someone here feels lucky to have found a soulmate. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm when I look at this card, I see it as soulmate, love. I'm seeing it as the, the, um, the lover's card or the two of cups. I'm seeing it as the lover's card. Yeah. You feel very fortunate, very lucky to have found the love of your life or someone feels that way about you. And with ferocity, someone is fiercely protecting this connection. Also, someone is um, extremely jealous of it as well. With over energy being vulnerability, I feel like you had no idea about this. I feel like you feel very vulnerable about your feelings for this person, but um, you're going to see this person act crazy on somebody because somebody's going to try to like flirt with you or like something. Someone's going to try it and your person is going to go off and you're going to be like, I ain't never seen that side of this. Okay. You in the background like, oh, I didn't know that. You may not even know how this person feels about you, but you're going to see how they act when somebody try you. Like, say, for instance, somebody trying to, like, bother you or flirt with you, whatever. This person is going to go crazy and you're going to be looking like, oh, <laughs> you don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. So you may find out someone has feelings for you. That's how you find out because um they feel like someone's bothering you. So say, for instance, if you're not dating this person, they're not going to go crazy because someone gives you their number. Like, they're going to be a little annoyed, but they're not going to go crazy. But if someone is, like, picking on you, that person's going to go off. But if you are dating this person and someone tries to flirt with you, this person's going to go crazy. <laughs> All right, let's get to the tarot for Aquarius. Next 48 hours for Aquarius. May 15th to the 16th of 2022 for Aquarius. This is so freaking cute. I can just feel the love in your reading. Like the super cute crush feelings. Adorable. <laughs> All right. We have the sun card. Illumination and clarity, warmth and love. Leo energy here with fortune too. Oh, this is so freaking cute. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment. So it may be a Leo, someone you already like. You like like them. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. It could be someone you work with for some of you or someone you've known for years. You've been working on this connection for years. Excuse me. Oh, Ace of Cups. I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it was love. Someone you've been working with for years axes you out. So you could work with this person. They may ax you out to go to lunch with them. I feel like they want you to hang out with them after work. Because I see you two going in a bar after work. You loosen up some of your buttons and you relax at a bar. Go out to eat, sit down after work. That's what I'm seeing. We have Paige and Wands. Yeah, they invite you out. Oh, this is cute. Don't be going for no one night stands though. I mean, if that's what you want to do, go off. But don't let this person play you. <laughs> Or don't let somebody else play. Because I feel like, wow, this person who actually likes you is asking you out. There's someone else who's trying to just weasel their way in and have a one-night stand. The person who actually likes you is not going to try to have a one-night stand with you. But I feel like there's a Leo or someone else here who, wow, this person actually likes you and wants to go on a date with you. There's someone else who's trying to just have a one-night stand. Be cautious of that. Don't get those two confused. You'll know who's who because this person's going to try you. <laughs> All right, they may go off on that person. That may be the person that they go off on. 
like while you two are out, this person tries to come up to you and ask you if you want to go back to their room and that person jacks them up or something. Or if you go out, you may go out with this person. This one, this, the person that actually likes you, you may go out with them and you tell them about an experience you had where one of the coworkers came on to you. Trust and believe that person is going to jack them up. All right. So just be cautious about what you say because this person is going to be ready to fight. Clarify this for Aquarius. The person who likes you is not playing. They are ready to fight. If they hear about anything, clarify this for Aquarius. Clarify this for Aquarius. And you, they might not even be that type of person. But when they hear somebody message you, Aquarius, they, they ready. Or you could be this way about somebody. Clarifying the sun card is the two of wands. Yeah, deciding which way to go. The chariot, cancer, moving forward, victory and success with fortune. So it's a superficial choice. You're, you're like, oh, I got options. You already know who you want to choose, but you just enjoy the fact that you have options. You already know exactly who you want. Because it's a superficial option because you immediately, with the chariot, you go towards the person who's clearly the one, which is so funny. Clarifying the nine of cups of the six of wands. This person gives you a lot of attention. That's so nice. Yeah, oh, three of wands. Okay, so outside of love, when it comes to work, you are killing it at work or on social media. I feel like if you're a social media influencer or you just work on the internet in any type of way, you're getting a lot of attention, praise, victory, success, public acknowledgement, and that's your wish fulfillment, and you're getting it. Yeah, the nine of cups, your wish fulfillment is to get attention, victory, success, and praise. And you're getting it with the three of wands, clarifying the nine of cups. Your ships are coming in. You're moving forward rapidly at your job, at your work, career, or if you work online, whatever you do, you're moving forward rapidly. You are moving on, up the ranks. And I usually see the six of wands as the minor to the chariot because they both talk about moving forward quickly to victory and success. And that's what's happening for you. You get you get what you want, which is so freaking cool. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles is the higher font of promotion. So if you are worried about a promotion, you are getting it. You are just killing it at work and on social media. And, and then you get the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. Your reading is just full of success. Like every card is full of success here. Again, the chariot, six of wands, three of wands, the higher font, the wheel of fortune, the sun, nine of cups. All of these cards are just success. Clarifying the ace of cups is the eight of pentacles because you put in the work. You have the eight of pentacles here twice. Eight of pentacles is clarified by the higher font. So your hard work is rewarded. Like, wow. And the knight of pentacles. So you have the eight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles clarifying the ace of cups. This is amazing. So it's like you get an immediate reward. Both of these um both of these rows of cards here are basically saying that your hard work pays off because the eight of pentacles, hard work, clarified by the higher font and the wheel of fortune, paying off. Ace of cups, clarified by the eight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. Your hard work pays off in work and in love. You get both. Overall energy is the ace of cups. You have the ace of cups here twice. Here twice. I feel like I said that wrong. You have the ace of cups here twice and the eight of pentacles here twice so your hard work in all areas of your life i feel like you've been working hard on yourself and your dating strategies and the type of people you decide to date or cut out you're working on you've been working on that for a very long time and it's paying off and the same way when it comes to work your work and love life are both doing well this is just an overall amazing reading like this is giving me good energy. I love this. Yeah, so you are going to get an invitation to go out with someone from, I feel like it could be from work, someone who works with you or works for you. Because it could be some, I feel like a painter. Or maybe they paint for a hobby. I feel like for some of you, it's someone you hired to work for you, a, a contractor of some kind. I'm seeing someone who has this type of um, equipment. This person could be working on your property or working with you or for you. Um, they ask you out. They could have been working for you for years. I feel like this is someone you've been dealing with for years. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is someone you've been um, working with for a while. Um, and they invite you out on a date. And you end up going out with them. You start to question. You're like, huh, should I? Should I? Shouldn't I? You already know you're going to go. Stop playing. <laughs> 
And then when it comes to work, you're doing amazing. Like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I feel like with vulnerability, you feel vulnerable because you actually like this person. Um, but you're going to be surprised how they uh, get somebody together, okay, for trying to mess with you. I'm going to leave it there because this is so freaking cute. The only thing I can really say to watch out for is um, while you're out with this sweet person, some you're either going to tell them about someone who tried you, tried to one-night stand with you, or you're going to tell them about, um, or someone's going to try to come up and flirt with you, and this person is going to get them together, okay? Oh, what could happen for someone here, I'm, I'm about to end it, what could happen for someone here is you end up taking out, you end up going out with a Leo, and the person who likes you comes up and just, like, jacks that person up, like, it's going to be wild, Okay, so be careful about that. The person who really feeling you, who really like you, might come up and break up your date. I don't, I'm not saying that that's great. I'm just saying, watch out. <laughs> All right, if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. She does custom work, so just let her know what you want and she'll do it. All right, I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.